In a moment, you will imaginally experience the view across a large city. First, though, close your eyes and allow yourself to relax completely. Letting your body physically relax will help you savor all aspects of this experience. Focus on your breathing. As you do, your breath will begin to slow down and become more rhythmic. With each breath you take, you find yourself relaxing more and more. As you exhale, you feel the muscles of your body loosening and relaxing. Your mind becomes more clear and focused with each breath. Allow yourself to appreciate each breath, noticing the air as it comes into your body and flows into your lungs. As you slowly inhale and exhale, allow yourself to relish the full breath. Notice the movement of your chest and abdomen as the air comes into your body and leaves your body. So refreshing so soothing. Notice the loosening and relaxing of the muscles in your chest each time you exhale. Just a pleasant sensation of relaxation. As you continue to breathe slowly and focus on the experience of your breath, just let all other thoughts go. Whenever a thought comes into your mind, just refocus on your current experience. Right now, that experience is focusing on each breath and the relaxation that begins to flow through your body each time you exhale. If other thoughts come to mind as you listen to this audio, that is okay. Just gently allow yourself to refocus back to the audio when you notice the other thoughts. As you continue to breathe slowly, allow yourself to focus on the scene that I described to you. Imagine that you are on a rooftop terrace overlooking a large city with high-rise buildings, some modern, some quite old. It is late afternoon on a comfortable spring day. You are seated in a cushioned chair surrounded by lush plantings just beginning to flower. You can smell the perfume from the blossoms that have opened. From your seat, you have a wide-angle view of the city before you. Depending upon the direction you look, you can see the luxurious offices and residential lofts of the skyscrapers. You can also see the contrast of rundown buildings cramped together in a dingy area of town. Some areas may have more greenery from plants, whereas others are concrete and steel. Some areas seem busier and some are quieter. 
At first, you take in the city as a whole. You notice the outlines of the buildings against the backdrop of the blue sky. Without focusing on an individual building, you allow yourself to notice the shapes made by the buildings, blending one into another. Some of the buildings may dwarf the others, and some may have some ornament at the top, such as a flagpole or elaborate tower. There may be other buildings with landscape terraces, such as the one in which you are sitting. You notice the variety of colors and the shadows as the sunlight plays across the face of the buildings. You notice the contrast in the colors when in sunlight or in shadow. You see the streets, the lampposts, the cars, the buses, the people of the city. Focus on the patterns of the streets and the movement of the traffic. It almost appears to be a dance as the traffic starts and stops, flows from one street to another. You notice the brake lights of the vehicles and how they seem to be timed with one another, similar to different sections of an orchestra playing a complex musical piece. As you let the patterns of the city flow through you, perhaps you notice park-like areas where there are trees and bushes, perhaps people running or walking along pathways through the park. You might see other areas where there are vacant lots overgrown with weeds. Perhaps there is an area of the city where there is water nearby, such as a lake, a river, or a bay. Notice the water and the sun reflecting off of it, sparkling drops of sunlight dancing across the water. Notice the movement of the water and any boats or other vessels floating on it. Notice the contrast of the quiet openness of the water with the busyness of the city streets. As you allow yourself to fully experience the contours of the cityscape, you are drawn more and more to the details. You begin to notice the windows in the buildings. Some buildings are almost completely glass, where others have ornate windowsills and ledges embedded in each story of the building. You begin to notice the distinctness of each building. As you scan the panorama, you observe the reflections in the windows. Depending upon how the windows are situated, you may see them reflecting the blue of the sky or the facade of other buildings. If you look closely at the glass buildings, you may even notice a seemingly endless reflection of the city from one building to another, similar to looking into mirrors facing one another. You can almost lose yourself in the colors and the ever-changing reflections as the sun sinks lower in the sky. Continuing to look more at the details 
you begin to notice the different architectural features of the buildings. Some are sleek with curving lines. Some are more old world with ornate carnices and detail work at the crown, windows, doors, and corners of the building. Some are made of brick and some are made of steel. Some have sculptures attached to the exterior. You examine each building to fully relish each detail of the visual experience the architect intended to create. When you look in another direction of the city where the buildings don't rise quite as high and don't seem as spacious, you notice the contrast to the skyscrapers. You notice the decay of the buildings. Just as you viewed the lines of the skyscrapers, allow yourself to follow the lines of the decaying buildings. Notice the shapes and patterns of the lines of these buildings and how they flow from one to another. Without judgment, notice the colors, the shadows, the reflections of the buildings. Perhaps you see bright graffiti on the sides of some of the buildings, or maybe there are broken windows with jagged edges. Allow yourself to notice the unique beauty of the old abandoned buildings. They may create unusual patterns, shapes, or shadows. Perhaps the buildings are near railroads or highways. Notice the lines of these features as they weave through the buildings. Notice the abandoned lots where homes once stood, now overgrown with weeds. Notice the patterns of the traffic through this section of the city. Let your eyes sweep across the entire city again, seeing this section of the city not as separate from the rest, but as part of the whole. Notice the contrasts without judgment as you view the city. Notice how there are other smaller, unique patterns within the whole. When you look at it as a whole, these sections seem to blend together into the beauty of the cityscape, just as separate farmlands when viewed from an airplane make up a larger pattern. As you continue to experience the cityscape as a whole, the sun is sinking lower and lower in the sky. You notice how the changing light affects the colors and shadows of the buildings, the roadways, the water, and the park features. You notice how the shadows of the buildings elongate and fall across neighboring buildings. You see that the colors become muted in the shadows. The sharp corners of the buildings become less distinct as the shadows blur the edges. The traffic patterns begin to change from the busyness of the workday to the quiet of the evening. As the sun begins to set in the west, you see the fiery red-orange of the sun large on the horizon. You notice how this color spreads across the city, reflected in the large glass buildings and in each window facing the setting sun. You notice the difference between the windows facing away from the sun 
and those reflecting the light of the sunset. Even the windows facing away from the sun pick up the colors of the sunset from the reflections in the other buildings, but the colors are just a bit duller. The sun continues to sink more and more in the west, bringing a cascade of colors to reflect across the city. Yellow, orange, pink, red, violet. You see the outline of the buildings dark against the colors of the setting sun. You notice the blue of the sky deepening as the sun sinks lower and lower. As you continue to watch, the sun disappears below the horizon. You still see the colors reflected as a mural in the glass of the buildings and the windows. Very quickly now, those colors begin to disappear, replaced by twilight. You see the soft glowing light from the western sky beginning to fade more and more into dusk. As the darkness of night slowly begins to cover the city, you see the lights from the buildings materializing into your awareness, similar to how the stars suddenly appear when the sky grows darker and darker. You notice the twinkling of the lights from the windows throughout the city. Some buildings seem to be entirely lit up, while others have only a few windows twinkling against the dark background. As you continue to watch, sparkling light appears in more and more of the windows. On the streets and roadways, you notice the lights from the street lamps and stoplights. You also see the streaks of red lights and white headlights from the cars on the streets. The city now offers different patterns to produce a different type of beauty. Allow yourself to absorb the feel of the city at night. As you sit in your cushioned chair, overlooking the bright lights of the city, you hear from a distance the music of the city nightlife wafting up to the terrace. You find yourself just allowing the sights and sounds to flow through you. Sitting, experiencing, drifting. Noticing the beauty that is found in all things. You feel yourself drifting more and more. Fully aware but without thought or judgment. Just experiencing the cityscape in its unique patterns that make up the whole. Appreciating and savoring every sight and sound the city offers. You may continue to drift more and more until you are ready to come back to full awareness.